Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm really happy that you're here today. Welcome all my new friends and all my longtime friends. Thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm so happy you're here. How is everybody? Are you all good? What are you up to? Anything fun? I hope so, because <laughs> otherwise, what are we doing here? All right, well, happy Wednesday, everybody, and at least I think it's Wednesday. We'll see. So, <laughs> you never know what I make in this darn thing. Anyway, um, I had a couple things. I wanted to give you a little update on my tall journal I was working on in my notebook, and then a quick little craft. Now, it's very, very late in the day. It may get dark before I get done, so we'll see how this goes. And I don't have my cool alt light here. When we were putting this room together, we messed up. I didn't leave a space for it because I had my big overhead lights and I thought, oh, I don't need a light. Yeah, I do. The overhead lights create shadow. So I'm going to have to make room on my desk and try to get my alt light on here and a plug and all that good stuff. So anyway, I asked my husband, oh, yeah, we got to leave a plug and I don't know what happened. So anyway, we got a little work to do in here. You don't know these things you get into winter, right? <laughs> so I hope everybody's good. We're going to get going. Uh, so I have a fun little craft with me. Um, so I'll tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need some book page. can be old or new. You want to have some papers that you can cover your book page with that you could write on. You're going to want some fabric, uh, paper strips or fabric strips. You're going to want some postcards to decorate or any kind of a little picture and little goodies to decorate with. We're going to, we're going to make some, um, these are going to be called envelope, um, book page envelope journal pages. So these are journaling pages, but they're but they're made like an envelope that you open up and you can write it. Okay, so they're for your journals to fill up your journal. Okay, so we're going to work on that. But before we get going, I want to show you my little book. Now, you've seen the cover. It's all done, which you saw. And I've done a little decorating in here. Um, so uh, you saw me put that in. But, and this is where this is going to live. I haven't finished it, like I said. Um, I did do this little page with, I think I did with you. But I finished some lace, a couple little goodies on it. Um, and then this is going to go here. It took me a little time to decide what's going to go where. Um, I made a little notebook. This is the one thing I did do is I made this cute little hidden notebook where I can write notes and I don't want everybody to see what I'm writing in my, you know, what lists or for my husband or somebody that's secret or my daughter because she shops with me. Uh, I want to put this little piece of paper on here. Um, oh, yep. I add a little goodie to this little envelope, uh, this little pocket page here. And let's see, then we have the center. Um, I did decorate that page. I think I did that with you guys. I do want to add a piece of lace there. Um, seemed like I worked on this for hours, but I don't see. Oh, I was making these notebooks. This is this is the notebook I made for here. Again, another little hidden notebook. And then I want to put this here and this here. So um, these are some of the Tim Holtz pieces that are in his new Tim Holtz packet. And then I just covered this up here for writing. And then I did the back page with you guys, but I added some goodies. I still feel like it needs some lace. I did do um, a hidden flip out, paper up fabric flip. Isn't that cute? So that's going to go there. And I think that's probably all I put in here. So I did do a little work on it. Not a whole lot. Um, I've had a lot going on. So one of them, which was that migraine that took me out for a few days. So I'm finally back. So we have that. All right, so that's as far as that little notebook's gotten. I can't wait to finish it. I do need to finish it. Um, I just don't have time to fuss around with it. You know, I got to get it going. So now today's project, um, I watched Rachel make these at Roxy Creations, and I thought I have tons and tons of book pages from when I was altering books. Um, they're just the Dollar Tree books, so I don't feel bad about ripping them up. People have a fit, but it's like, you know what? A lot of those stories are just so bad. You know, I... I they would probably end up in the trash bin. So the point of this is to cover the inside. Now she put two or three pages, book pages together and then covered it with paper. But honestly, one sheet of book page and one sheet of paper, which this is um, parchment uh, printer paper I used here, gave it real good heft. Hear it? It's got a good heft. So I don't feel like it needs anything else. So then what she did was she covered it with some pretty things on the back. So I grab what I have of hers and I just thought I'd do a combination of and make some pretties to cover these. And um, I want to make them for my journals and things. So 
and and as gifts i'm going to be giving away some stuff pretty soon here so right now i'm trying to create a bunch of stuff to make and create a little stack to give away so i want to do a giveaway um, or two so what i want to do is i kind of want to put that like right in the middle and i mass made these so i sat and i where in the heck is my um i don't know where it went oh i have several of these you would think i could find one where did I put my, did I put my other bone folder? I bet you it's in a mess that's on my other desk. I probably scooped it up with everything that was on here and ended up, you know. So we've picked, we fold up however much you want to fold it up. And then we have our flap. Now I like my flaps rounded. So I'm going to put that in there and round the corner. If you like, you can, it's not a tutorial, it's just a craft with me. You can add a little bit of... Ink, which I like mine inked just lightly. And actually, this one that I'm making right here is going in my pink journal. So I need a different kind of ink on this. I don't want a dark ink. I want pink ink. I want pink ink. <clears throat> so you can make them in any color. You don't have to make them red and green. You can make them just daily scrapbook paper. You can use whatever it is you normally use. Um, but I, like I said, I want to make some stuff for I've left the raw edge on here on this book. I love it. I'm just going to leave it right on there. I think it's pretty. Um, and I decided I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, round all four corners. Now, this is not something, you know, you want people to read. It's not a book that you're like, oh, yeah, you got to read this book, so I'm going to leave this page for you. I tried to make sure there were no naughties, you know, anywhere. I don't think this was a naughty book, but you never know. A lot of the Dollar Tree books are very naughty. Um, so, oh, no, I don't want that. I want this. This sponge sugar is very light, very, very light, very hard to see. So I'm kind of really going over it. I don't know where that came from. Let me get that. Oh, so now when you open it up, see, you got writing paper. Put it in your book, put it in a pocket. You could glue it on a page, but this is more of a paper clip it in or slip it into a pocket type of journaling card, like any other journaling card. You know, we just stick it in the pages and there we go. Okay, I want a lot of pink on there. And then these are from Rachel at Roxy Creations, so I want to add some pink to the edges of this. It's getting dark in here fast, you guys. I'm going to lose my light. So what I want to do is I want to cover this up um, so it's really hard to read because you don't want to read it. And the other thing I think I want to use, which I don't know if I have any scraps, so I'm just going to grab one, a piece of digital paper, a digital uh, music paper. and kind of use it to layer a little bit and cover up some of the stuff that I don't want to see. This will have to be a quick video because I am running out of light very rapidly. Okay, so I want to put that on there. Um... I was trying not to, I didn't want to rip off my treble clef. That's one thing I don't want to do. I think that's okay. It's getting windy out. Weather's very cool here. Well, that really does cover up all the book page. I do want a little bit on there. I want it to be, I want you to know what it is, but not like... 
know what it is. So I might have cut that a bit short. We'll see. Mostly like a half a line and a few words. How's that? That works. Okay. Also, um, you might want to, when you turn your pages, you might want that to be right side up just because aesthetically it might bother your eye if it's not. Um, mm, this bottle's feeling pretty empty. I think I need to fill it up again. I refill this bottle all the time. I just replaced it with a grody one and then, re and then covered it real good. So... And then I'm going to use these little tags. These are from Rachel at Roxy Creation. She has them in her shop. I think Steffi created them, her husband. I'm not positive. There we go. Okay, then we have our little... Now we need to put something here. So this is... Oh, remember when I tore my whole studio part in our last video looking for my gluey papers, my washi paper from Christmas last year? Here it is. I found it. And it doesn't really go with this. Uh-oh. But I think that piece might work. It's just on sticky back paper or um, other paper. And I just want to, I don't know if that'll rip. Mm. Let's see if it'll rip. Yeah, that, that ripped okay. I didn't think it would, being it's a sticky back paper. I kind of keeping the red out of this one because it's going in my pink journal and there's no red in that journal at all. I don't really know that there's blue, but there is green and beige and I'm hoping this will be okay. If it's not, I'll just take one of the papers from the kit and, you know, cover over some of it. Maybe put a word from the kit in there um, when I get ready to use it. So this was something I thought you guys might... want to see me do so there you go you have that decorated that decorated you open it up wonderful space for journaling and then you have this pretty card on the back side isn't that pretty it's gorgeous so i'm going to set that aside remember to put that in that journal all right so let's move on to another one now what did i do with them i just oh they're right in front of me goofball here we go all right, so here's another one, and I've covered them with all different kinds of things, all different colors of uh, copy paper. Now, I'll say I'd be covering that pretty 24, which I really like, but it'd be cool to have it in the, and I am going to cover that up, so maybe it doesn't matter if it's upside down. Maybe we'll do it that way. I don't know. Now, the one thing I do recommend you do is whatever you're going to put over that, make sure you leave yourself the right width for your turn down and your turn up, right? You know what I'm saying? So, like, you don't want to turn up too much and then leave yourself no space for your little card that you're going to put on there, right? Whoop. See what I did? I made sure that I have enough space there. Right? Just like that. Okay. So, now where did my... Where's my other... Sorry, I'm looking... Excuse the reach. I'm looking for all my bone folders. Okay, I'll use this one. This is the best one. It's Teflon. It doesn't stick to anything. It doesn't leave any marks on your work. That's the greatest thing about this, plus the weight of it. If you're kind of losing your strength a little bit in your hands and arms, you know, it's wonderful. And it does not leave lines in your work. So let's, okay. And we want to round our corners. And these are so fun. You can mass make a bunch of these in like an hour. And we're going to go like that. And then this is going to go out here. Right? Yeah, like that. And I think before I get going, I'm going to do a quick little inky. Inky dinky. Let's see. I'm trying to think what I have to tell you. Oh, not a lot. We're just trying to catch up on life. We closed up our patio over the weekend, last weekend. And um, I took a whole day of just struggling to put everything, all the cushions back in their bags. And... Wiped down all the furniture because everything got wet in the last rain. We weren't supposed to get rain, and we did. 
So we got caught, which normally we put everything away before the rains hit because I don't like my furniture to sit in the rain. It, it will rest some of it. Um, I have a pretty wrought iron patio set that um, sits by my back door where we can have a snack or breakfast or whatever. And we did do quite a bit of that uh, before, you know, everything went crazy around here. And so um, that had to get all cleaned up and put away and and put back in the shed so we had to take things out of the shed and reorganize it to get everything back in there because you know you throw things in there in the off season <laughs> all summer long going oh we'll take care of it in the fall we'll make room you know hmm. Hmm. so that took a whole day and we i work been working in my sewing studio a bit trying to get things organized and like i had all these little tiny cups that i had of all different sizes and shapes that i just been collecting from all over the kitchen recycling basically junk junk stuff and I had all my had a button collection in there what I call fun buttons and um so I spent all morning organizing separating those out into an, into a container they're ready to glue that on um so that was fun for the morning today and I was sorting through magazines and I have tons and tons and tons and tons of magazines. I have scrapbooking magazines, which I'm going to get rid of. And I have paper crafting magazines, how to paper craft and then, you know, stuff from years and years and years. So I'm going through those, getting rid of those and just been spending time in my, and then I was printing a bunch of stuff for a project that I'm working on, Lady of the Manor uh, journal folio that I need to get done and so I was printing some I was making copies of my antique documents that I ordered not long ago so now I have to decide um, some of these have pictures some do not so what's on the front we have Santa so I have to pick out something you guys I couldn't pre-cut these because there's just tons and tons of them and it's like well what do I want on this side another Santa one. Let's see, what kind of Santa do we have? A Victorian kind of vintage Santa. Either one of those is fine. There's the kids. They're cute. Oh, that might be cute. They might be cute. Every one of these is different. So they're all uh, from Steffi's kit. Now, I'm going to have to, as soon as I cut this, I am going to stand up and I'm going to look to see what the light is like. I may have to flip on a light here because I'm having a difficult time seeing. I need to see what you guys see, see so if you're getting enough light from the camera. It will adjust to a certain extent, but in a minute I'm going to be in the dark and I'm probably going to have to call this a video. But that's okay, you guys got to see how to make these here what we're up to which is just mainly i'm working on getting my sewing studio put back together bedrooms all back together um i gotta get a bunch of stuff together to sell on the marketplace on facebook to sell we've got ottomans and things that we're not keeping and furniture and stuff that we've decided not to keep keep making giving ourselves some more room so that's going to go down there and then there is going to go something right there, right? So let me see. What do I see? Can we keep going or am I going to have to? Oh, you guys got plenty of light. I'm the one who doesn't have light. Okay, well, I'll work as long as I can. Time really squinting. <laughs> now, you just saw me rip some. I could move it up. I mean, I'm not trying to hide the paper, but I want to, you know. And I don't want this to look quite so new. You know, and I have to kind of hold this up in the light. You guys could see, well, my camera's adjusting. It's giving you all kinds of light. Me, not so much, which could be a problem. Real quick here. Let me do this. 
Let me do this. We're so not used to this time change. I'm used to be able to do a late day video, guys, and now I can't do that anymore. Oh, I just learned my lesson. No, I took a nap. I have, I have, I've had a migraine for uh, three long days, and by today I was just exhausted. And needed a, a nap this afternoon. And we need something across this top. I like it. it says chapter 21 or whatever, so I'm going to leave that. But I do have strips of stuff here, so let's see if there's something that would maybe look cute on there. Oh, yeah, I do. I see things. Because I want to leave a little bit of something that I could use later, right? So let me... And this is napkin on um, on this wide tape. Um, so two-sided, two-sided sticky tape. Well, no, this is, sorry, this is um, label tape, sticky label tape. Which if I can get it off, we're, we're good to go. Yeah, there it is. I got it. I need to get my nails done on this again. That's what happens when you're packing and unpacking and then you have a bunch of stuff fall on your head and you put your hand up and you break all your fingernails so that's what happened to me i don't have any fingernails now now another thing you could do would be to add a piece a strip of lace right there let me show you let's see i had the lace on my desk here i was using it i pulled it off my desk oh. i've gone through almost a whole row of this roll of this. Good thing I have three or four rolls, but I might have to get some more next time I go. Okay, let's get this. If we want to add a little something, something to it and make it a little more fancy. Excuse my head. I think I'm going to put it across the bottom of this uh, tape since I put the tape on kind of crooked. Come on, you. I need to refill my glue bottle because I like it over full. Okay, and then I'll trim that. And that. And isn't that adorable? Look at that, look how cute that is. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Don't you just love that? I do. I just think it's adorable. So cute. I might be able to get another one in. I don't know. We'll see. Mm, let's see. How dark was that paper? Was that a really dark paper? Oh, yeah. It kind of was, wasn't it? But sure makes good writing space, doesn't it? Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm in love. And I could see where you could have like a little... Um, cutie thing there um let's see what do i have i know i have these these are fabulous these are tim holtz and they go well with uh, rachel's work these are tiles tim holtz tiles I, I ordered these by mistake i thought they were something else so i wasn't real thrilled when i realized they weren't what i thought they were but if you wanted something inside you could just put a little tile there actually what i want to do So if you're going to craft with me, get book pages, some kind of coffee dyed paper, any kind of paper to cover the book page with. Could be uh, digital papers, whatever you got. And then um, and some images, any kind of images, scrapbook paper, digital papers, magazines. Doesn't have to be Christmas, can be any time of the year. These would be a blast done in every. In fact, I'll probably, I'm going to do some to match my journals that I'm making. My um, pink journal, my flip flop journal. See, and then I'm just going to put that right there. Isn't that cute? So when you open it up, you have this. Look at that. Is that cute or what? Love in it. Love and love and love in it. Okay. So this one, let's pick up, let's pick an image. So we want. Um, this time I'm going to have the chapter 13 come up and I'm going to decorate up there. So I'm going to turn it the other way. But I got to pick out my outside. Where's my? 
Wait, I just had those. Where'd they go? Oh, it's getting dark in here. I can tell. Okay, let's use these kids. Aren't they cute? So if we make this come up, this will go down. Yep, that works. So we want to, I want that to show right there. So that's going to give me the height there, right? And they're good and dry. I made sure they were very, very dry before I... I did the video and then let's see I want that to be how wide and I want to okay so I want to make that not too wide we can't have them over four and a half inches because then they won't fit in any of the pockets that's at three and three quarters so that's a good uh, width for it if they're too long on the ends here you can just do a little trim See on this edge, I don't know if you could see, but it's a bit long. And again, we're going to clip corners. Mm -hmm. This is all I'm going to be able to do, you guys. It's too dark in here for me. Let me see. What are you seeing? You are so lucky you guys have light, but I see a shadow. I see it over here, so I know we're getting to the end of what I can see and you can see. Oh, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and you're having a good week so far and you have a really good rest of the week. I don't know what you're up to. I don't think this week, I think, is just going to be spent on, I know I get my hair on, done on Friday and errands and lunch out and fun time with my husband, maybe dinner out that night if we don't get lunch because I think my hair appointment's like at 1245, so I will have had lunch before I go so I can sit through my two-hour appointment because so I get my hair cut, colored, and styled. But maybe we'll go shopping, then go out to dinner after, and then go home, have a really early dinner, and then get our little selves home after that. So that'll be Friday. Thursday, I don't know. Um, I feel like Jolene and I need to start getting some of the things I've been making into the shop for sale. It's that time of year where we need to... Um, I've already inked all my little cards, so I can just glue that right on there. Now, you could put other things underneath this. You could add some... Um, cheesecloth if you want it under there. I don't know. Do I want to? I think I'm just running out of time. It's getting so dark in here. <laughs> Good Lord. I found my cheesecloth. Oh, I was so thrilled. I've been using the other kind. I had two kinds and this is the one that's really open weave and it's now this one, I put this I put this cheesecloth on with this Scotch Create because it holds on fabric, especially cheesecloth and ribbon and stuff like that. It's great. And so, but what I like about it is that you can scrunch it. You can make it look messy and it's fabulous and it stays on there. Wherever there's glue, it will scrunch. See, look at that. Isn't that cool? I need to get some up here because I don't have enough. My husband's making a roast for dinner tonight. Yum. A seasoned roast, rosemary thyme roast. I gave him all the recipes and the recipe and said, okay, here is what you need to do. Go to town. I got to go make a video. Otherwise, my girls are not going to have a Wednesday video. I need my sweet viewers to have their, their video this week. Let me... Okay. I know I put all that cheesecloth on there and you don't really see it, but that's okay. It's under there. I know it's there. I think it'll be really cute. And this will be it for me because it's getting dark, dark, dark. Quick little video today, which there's nothing wrong with a quick video. I know some of you, are, you guys are going to get busier and busier during the holiday season. And no matter what I'm making, I'm probably going to cut the video shorter because I know a lot of you don't have time to watch a long video. All of you mainly. I mean, I know those of us that are housebound, we have time but others don't. I'm going to use my hand for just a minute. Remember I told you the heat of your hands, and my hands are very warm right now, will dry your... Isn't that cute? Don't you just love that? I like that. Okay, now we need something on the back. Oh, this is going to take some time. What do I have on the front? I've got the kids, so we don't want kids. 
Um, well, I don't mind another child. I like this little girl. I think she goes really well with them. I think I'll do her. Each one of these is all different. These are, I think, two separate kits that uh, Rachel has in her shop. I fell in love with them way back when they did them. I want to say for Easter is the first time, maybe. Then I think they did a regular set. Then they did a Christmas set. Then they did another one. And so I have bought every single set they have. I need to pull up my regular ones and start using them in my work again. Um, they'd gotten filed. I know where they are. They're filed in my... Um, I have a standing file that I made in one of my videos out of file folders. It stands up and it holds all of my ephemera files, pre-printed ephemera that I've printed. Okay. I have all the cards pre-inked, but obviously because I didn't know what I was going to use, I couldn't pre-do these. I mean, I could sit and cut these for hours. Maybe I will. If I'm going to use them at all. I might. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put that there and then put my strip here. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up a bit. Why didn't I turn that? What was I thinking when I did that? Hmm. Maybe I'll just cut that. Yeah. I think I'll just cover that like that. I don't want to put any music paper or anything on that right now. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have to flip on a light and see if we can end this video with some light. Let there be light, right? That way I can keep working. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. Well, I don't know. What do we think? Did that help at all? Helps you guys. Not so much me. Well, it's good and light for you, and I think I could see better. So let me see how many minutes do I have left. Um, 32. We're at 32. I don't think I'll go another hour, but it's nice to have that. You know what I was thinking? I ordered some Tim Holtz um, Christmas washi, but it didn't come. So I don't know what happened. It was already supposed to be here. And I, I just don't have... Christmas washi. Can you believe it? I really don't. I have a little bit. I loaned my daughter some when she was working on her kit, but we just realized, geez, we don't have any. <sighs> Let's see. Well, where to put that. I did want something tiny. Maybe I could just do one of these. I'll probably have to go back and glue this, I'll bet you. Oh, for sure. Okay, I'll get some on there. Well, maybe not. I do know when you burnish this stuff, it does help it stay. So we'll see. If it peels back, I'll just go ahead and get it. Now, I do want to put something here. Um, I'm going to see if I have any of the sticky stuff that I've made. I don't have a lot left, honestly. I've used um, most of it up, but I have a little bit, which is nice. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I don't like this bright green there. That was a napkin. I remember making these last year. So fun. Um, and I'm going to make some more because I really like it. I call it Christmas washi paper. But these are actually stick-on paper. So we're going to call this stick-ons. Is that upside down? Up nope, that way. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear all the sirens. Something's going on. It's happening down over by my daughter, which ugh, every time I hear sirens over there, I cringe. You know, you always worry about your family, especially now that they're alone. So, oh, you know, worry wart mother. I do have the hospital right by me, so we always hear... No, I don't like that with that. I think I'm just going to put that on there. Sorry, guys. I can't do anything about the sirens. When you live next to the fire station and the hospital and you're right near the highway, you're just going to hear it all. You're going to hear it all. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Where was I going to put that? Does anybody know? I was going to put that up there. And then the dogs are going to howl, which you don't, our dogs are really quiet in this neighborhood. Most of them are inside all the time, thank goodness. But every now and then they go outside, you know, at the end of the day, and then I have to listen to them howl. So you just take that off and... There we go. Isn't that cute? Gosh, just there are endless possibilities for decorating. Just endless possibilities for decorating. Look at that. Just so darn cute. And then I know a minute ago, like I just, I cut off some little bits. Here, let's see, where is that little bit I cut off a little while ago? You just do that. I mean, you just could put the tiniest little bit. I know I cut off some bits, a little bit bigger bits than that. Um, huh. Huh. I thought I did. Where did they go? And all of these are sticky on the back. So the cool part is you can just take off the sticky and you have a nice little bit that you can put up here. Look at and it just takes care of, you know, it being too too much paper. Sometimes you don't want a blank page to write on. You want a little something fancy on there. And excuse my thumbs, they are a horrible mess. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I snapped off the nails when those things came down on my head. Put my hand up and I was able to stop them, but I broke off a bunch of fingernails doing it, so. Oh, well, it is what it is, right? Save my head and my face, so. I gave up my nails for that, and that's fine. I don't need them. I feel like I did not get a good glue on that um, piece of paper. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. Perfect to stick into a pocket. Any journal, any style. Doesn't have to be that style. If I had other stuff that I could grab and put on here for you, I would show you, but I don't think I do. Um, kind of like that there where you put something there and then you can still see that the page the chapter number I purposely kept those when I ripped out the book let's see let's do another one and then we'll we'll call it quit since I've turned on a light I can now see oh let's do one tall wise let's do one standing up I got a bigger one okay so go there because that's the bottom so we're going to turn about that much down for our top. 
We're going to make, oh, this one can't be wide though. Let me see. Four and a half is as wide as I can go. We're up four. So that is as wide as we can go. And have it fit in a pocket, you know. My journals are now going to mostly be if I make any. But then again, I was saying these would be good gifts. But even if I give one as a gift, I want someone to be able to put it into their journal, right? Does that cover? Barely. Barely covers. Does that work? Yeah, I could have gone down one more row, but I don't want to. It'll break the book by me. It'll break the book page if I fold it again. So I don't want to do that. But look how cute. If you go this way, we can put a little word on it, add a piece of lace, do whatever. I mean, you could put a piece of lace down the side. What if I put, yeah, okay, I got an idea. Let's get this on. Wait, right, well, after this, I have some glue bottles to fill up. This one's getting mighty empty. Eek. <clears throat> Oh, I've got a tickle in my throat, you guys. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Oh, it just got dry. I meant to move that over a little bit, but that's okay. You know, it's on with art glitter glue, so it's going nowhere. What I'm thinking is maybe I could just do a little, put a little piece of lace on there. Then you would see it kind of on this side a little bit, maybe. Let's do that. Okay. This will be our last one. I know I said that before, but I did turn on the light and I got enough light to finish. Or at least get this far. You know me, I'm far from finished, but. Well, I hope your Thursday and Friday are good. Let you get some creative time. Get to get in your studios or your pull out your TV tray or wherever you get to craft at. Hope you get some time to make something fun. Hopefully to make some of these. These are a blast. I'm having such a good time with these. I know you can tell because I'm really enjoying it. And then I might want to put a little word or something right there. Um, did I leave my words out, you guys? I don't know. Did I, did I, did I? Mm. Yeah have a few of my calico collages as well as some of Jolene's but for this one I want oh, let me see if I have some little ones already cut How about happy holidays that's cute we'll just do a little ink the tag I think this is yeah calico collage she has some great Christmas words. I got these a few years ago. I don't have links for you guys. Sorry, I don't do links. I don't know how. We do our best. If if we can, if you have, if they have a YouTube, then we can kind of link them. But if they don't, it's really difficult for us. My husband and I don't know how. We just haven't got the time really to, to go link in a bunch of stuff. I don't mind sharing with you verbally who I'm working with, but you know. They're on Etsy, and this is them. Sorry, my hands are shaky. <laughs> Probably because I'm rushing around trying to get this done before I'm sitting in pitch blackness. Now, I do have plain ones that don't have any writing on them. 
like just colors. And I'm trying to see what color I have here. If there's something I want to use. I mean, if you use a plain one like that and you put it on the other side, you know, you could put a little note or something on there. Um, but mm, I'm looking to see what's there. If there's something I want to put. I really can't see good enough to pick one. So I may stop here. Um, you know what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to put a little piece of paper there. And then I'm going to, well, I have a little piece here. Maybe I will just put that there so you could see. This is one of Rachel's papers. I can't tell if it goes well enough. But what I would do is I would put, you know, a piece of paper there to cover up the writing. And then put a little image here, you know. And then I might stick a little something up in the corner. You could stamp it. You could add a piece of washi tape, you know, at the top. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, so, anyway, I want to thank you all for coming along and hanging out and having a little craft with me. Hopefully you did craft along with me. and Maybe you have some of these supplies or something that you could use to make these. And if you don't, maybe go stop the video, go get some, and then come back and, and craft with me. That would be a lot of fun. So let me grab what we have made here. We made a few in just a short amount of time. As you could see, we made that one, and we made that one, and we made this one, and this one. So, you know, we got a few done, and let's see, what was our time frame here? We did that in, um, 47 minutes. So that's not bad considering I did some cutting, you know, and I showed my other book. So maybe we did it in about 45 minutes. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I have 10 I wanted to do. So I will be doing those 10, um, off camera and then I'll show you what I did. And, um, you could see how they ended up. What, what wonderful pieces they made into and you guys I can't find my little doohickey to turn off my camera hmm, does that mean I have to stay and play all night because I can't find my remote <laughs> no I found it so thank you everyone for crafting with me for allowing me to share my time with you and what I was making and I really appreciate your time and your effort and I appreciate you and all your wonderful comments and I love all of you and I'll see you all very soon hugs and kisses bye-bye